And so what do you think of this guy? Is he obese? Is he fat? What body fat percentage do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section. Coach Greg, and in today's video, is this guy fat? Guy posted on Reddit said, no idea what body fat percentage I am. He's five foot eight inches tall, weighs 195 pounds. Let me know what you think. And so I'm going to let you know what I think and compare it to the people commenting on the Reddit post. And so first things first, I want to define what fat really is. Fat to me, I'm going by a medical definition. It's called being obese or obesity. And for men, anything above 25% body fat is considered to be obese and or fat. And so call it what you will. Fat, obese, plump, overweight, big, super fluty, obesity. We're just calling it what it is. I never made up the terms. And so just because somebody's fat and or obese doesn't mean they're morbidly obese. Doesn't mean they're 300 pounds. And so the question is, is this guy fat? 20 to 25% people saying 30 or more have no idea what 30% really looks like. 27% give or take. Around 20% body fat, I would say. The people saying 30% are way off. Anyone who has cut to stage levels knows you carry way more than you think. Sorry. Anyone with eyes can see he's not 25% unless he's hiding 15 pounds of fat in his nutsack. Well, considering we don't see him from the rear, how do we know he doesn't carry 15 extra pounds of fat in his back? If somebody says, guess my body fat, and they only show you the front of their body, you're only seeing 50%. How could you possibly guess exactly how much fat the person has if you're only seeing the front of their body? How can he have 30% body fat if we assume that we could start seeing the outline of his abs around 15 to 17% body fat? That means he needs to get to around 160s just to start seeing a little bit of the outline of his top four abs. Well, the problem is you're making an assumption that you're only going to see the outline of your abs at 15 to 17%. For the most part, most people can see some of their abs when they're well into their 20s in terms of their body fat. And so assume you need to be 15 to 17% body fat before you can begin to see an outline of some abs. You're way off the mark. This happens at much higher body fat percentages. At 15 to 17%, most people can see a lot more abdominals than that. Definitely closer to 30%, always more fat to come off than people realize. He clearly overweight. Body fat is not just limited to the torso, bro. You can be 22% body fat and still have visible abs. Just depends on your genetics. And so first things first, I can't see his back, which I'd love to see. And so I'm basing this on what I can see from the front. First of all, let's look at his face, which it's covered by a phone. Probably doesn't want people to see what his face looks like. First thing I notice is this guy has an extremely puffy looking face. He appears to have very high body fat levels. If all he did was show a photo of his face, I'd probably guess 35% body fat. But that's based on his face alone. You can see very chubby, round looking cheeks, does not have the chisel jawline does not appear to have very low body fat levels. And so from the face alone, this guy appears to be fat and or obese, but we don't know if the guy's using testosterone, D-ball, Adderall, if his estrogen levels are too high, it's going to cause a lot of water retention in the face. And that is what I see first glance in looking at this photo. Next thing I see, chest well formed does not seem to have a lot of hanging extra fat around the nipples, but I do see some acne, which may or may not indicate the use of testosterone, but in this case, I do believe he's not natural, but I don't know for sure. And as I look at the chest, the shoulders, or arms, I don't see any vascularity. He does have fairly good muscular development, but it's covered by a layer of body fat. And as we look at his stomach, you can see he does not have a clear and defined six pack. But if you zoom in at the top, you can kind of see where the top two abs would begin to poke through. If he were to flex, I'm certain you could see a two pack. Glancing over to the side, you can see where the obliques would eventually come through. He doesn't have hanging fat drooping over the side of his pants. If he were to have this, I would say, guys, clearly above 30% body fat, but I don't see that here. And next up, very important to look at the guy's legs. And in this case, legs look pretty good. They're not storing a lot of body fat. If he simply showed me a photo of his legs, I would have guessed guys in the low 20s, just a bit over 20% body fat. 
If you're liking this video, subscribe right now. And I interrupt this video to say subscribe. Click the bell button. Subscribe right now. Do it. Do it. Do it. And so overall, after analyzing everything that's been shown, remember, we haven't seen his back. I'm going to say he's probably somewhere around 25% body fat. And so overall, my advice for this guy would be if he's in fact not natural to be careful about what he's taking. He does appear to have more body fat than he actually has. If the guy were covered up in a shirt, all you could see with his face, you'd probably guess his body fat is over 30%. And so by perhaps controlling estrogen, getting his diet in check, he could look much leaner than he really is. And so so is this guy fat and or obese? Well, to me, he's right at the crusp. He's right at the limit. One could say he's fat. Someone else could say he's not. But he is most certainly overweight. And the next most common question, should this guy cut, bulk, or main gain? The answer is cut. Based on the photo, I'm guessing the guy is not natural and that he simply has over bulked. There is no reason to allow your body fat percentage to get this high in order to put on muscle. Remember, as Mike Isretel stated, and I do in fact agree, around 15% body fat for most people, that is ideal. You're going to have plenty of energy to put on muscle. Now, yes, granted, some people with amazing genetics can main gain at 10%. Others who are not blessed with amazing genetics, perhaps just 20%. This guy's at 25, and so if I were coaching him, I would encourage him to try and lose some weight. But how much weight should he lose in order to have what I would call an ideal healthy body? And so assuming he's at 25% body fat, to calculate his fat-free mass, you take 75% of 195 pounds, works out to being 146 pounds. And so if we stripped him of all body fat, he would have 146 pounds of lean tissue. And as you know, I recommend 15% body fat for your health. And so what do you do? You take 146 pounds, multiply by 1.15, the 15 being the extra 15% that you need. And if you work that out, it equals to 168 pounds. But he's currently holding a lot of water weight. When you're in the off season eating freely, there's going to be water, undigested food, stuff sitting in your gut and colon. And so when you go on a diet, you're often going to lose a lot of water and or glycogen weight as soon as you go on the diet. And so on top of the 27 pounds of fat that you need to lose, he's also going to lose approximately five pounds of water, glycogen or undigested food as he goes on his cut. And in case you're wondering, you want to figure out how much water you're probably going to lose, what I do is I take 3% of your weight. And so if you're, example, 300 pounds and you want to go on a diet, 3% of 300, probably going to lose about 9 pounds of water and or undigested food. And so oftentimes when people go on a diet, they have a lot more weight than they think they have to lose to get down to their ideal body weight. And so considering this guy is currently 195 pounds, I would want him to slowly diet down to 163 pounds. That's a net loss of 32 pounds, losing at a rate of two pounds per week, gonna take about 16 weeks. It's about four months. But what if he wanted to compete? What if he wanted to do a competition? Well, to get shredded for a competition to look good for his first show, I would recommend about 7% body fat. And so before trying to cut down to show, I strongly recommend people to get within striking distance of dieting for a show. And so if you wanted to diet down for a show at this stage, I would say, look, you're not ready. Please show that you can lose the weight to get down to a healthy weight. Get down to 15% and then think about dieting. And so after dieting down to 15% body fat, which to me is his healthy weight, I would then want to get down to 7% to step on stage. That's another 8% body fat. But remember, the leaner you get, the harder it is to lose this weight. And so I would want an additional 16 weeks to get ready for a show. When you're leaner, it's harder to lose weight. It's hard to get truly shredded. And so losing a half a percent a week, to me, that makes sense. He has 8% to lose, 15 minus 7 is 8, and so a half a percent a week is going to take him 16 weeks. And so as you can see, if this guy were to try to compete and he was being coached by me, I would suggest it's going to take him about 7 or 8 months. And yeah, he could do it faster, he could crash diet, but then he'd lose a ton of muscle. And I know you're thinking, oh my goodness, he'd have to lose close to 50 pounds to step on stage? Well, yeah, he does. And why do you think I tell most people they have 20 pounds more than they need to lose if they want to get shredded for competition? For the most part, people think, oh, if I lose 20 or 30 pounds, I'll be shredded. 
Sorry, nope, probably have to add 20 pounds more. And so if your goal is to get down to single digit body fat or to step on stage, remember this, for the most part, people underestimate how much fat they have on their bodies. And so if you start dieting down and you notice you're losing more weight than you expected, it's not your fault. You just underestimated just how much fat you have on your body. And so with this guy who has a decent, respectable amount of muscle, clearly he's been hitting the gym harder than last time. And so if you're thinking, it can't be, can't have to lose this much weight. Remember Alpha Destiny? He recently updated his name to Alex Leonidas. Well, this guy was in the 180s. Looked amazing, incredible. But he did carry a lot of body fat. He decided to diet down to single digit body fat, not even step on stage. Guess what he weighed? Under 150 pounds. And frankly, if he continued to diet down, continue to get mind blowing shredded to bodybuild, guy might have been in the 130s. And so despite the fact the guy is an animal, he's a tank, he can bench 405 pounds. Even Alpha Destiny, to get shredded, had to get down to the 140s. And on that journey, he had zero energy, fainting, brain fog, had a very hard time, was starving, eating hardly any calories. And so let this be a warning. Please stop striving for that single-digit body fat physique. Remember what I keep saying halfway there? 15% body fat, perfectly healthy. You don't need to get leaner. And so when you see guys like Alex Eubank, who clearly are shredded, saying, I'm not lean enough, I gotta keep cutting. I need bigger arms, shoulders. I need to go on HRT. I'm getting brain fog. I don't feel good in the gym. I keep telling these people, eat more, increase your body fat. Try increasing your body fat to 12 to 15%. You'll feel so much better. If you keep struggling to get shredded, you're not going to feel good. Your hormones going to go down and it's not healthy. And so what do you think of this guy? Is he obese? Is he fat? What body fat percentage do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section. And so are you at a higher body fat percentage than this? And if so, please don't bulk. Don't bulk. Please don't bulk. Don't bulk. Please don't bulk. Don't bulk. And a number one supplement I recommend on your weight loss journey, trying to get an aesthetic physique, it's not creatine, not Turk Builder, not even fat burners. It's GO2 Max. If you want to get something that gives you more energy, burn more calories in less length of time, increase recover between sets, make you feel better, this is going to make you a better butter burner. If you train harder, burn off more calories, it's going to help you to get at a lower body fat percentage. And don't just take my word for it. Double blind, placebo controlled human studies show that this works dramatically. In a clinical research study, improved the walking test score by 50%. Andrew Huberman described just how effective this is on the Joe Rogan podcast, episode 1958, last 60 and a half minutes. Please go check it out yourself. Joe Rogan himself said, I'm stocking up on this supplement. Edamen is amazing. And so of all the supplements I've been taking, this the number one supplement I recommend to everyone. Whether you're training in the gym, lifting weights, don't forget the most important muscle. It is in fact your heart. Please give GO2 Max, which contains NMN, a try. And if you have no money, can't afford GO2 Max or my cookbooks or supplements, head over to the website anyway. I have a free diet and training program. It's over 50 pages. Going to help you to get in the shape of your life. And so regardless if you're fat, obese, trying to lose weight, please head over to the website right now. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for your algorithm. Don't forget to watch the bloops. At least one of them. Follow me on Instagram, Greg Doucette, I'm Pro. And as always, we got the cookbooks, the training books, the coaching plans by me and my team. Also, the clothing line, harder than last time, the circle diet book. Follow me, subscribe. Don't forget my discount code, code Greg. Greg, 10% off. Click the link in the description. And until next time, I am out.